believe. So I promised another uh, look using the Huda palette and this is what I came up with. It's a little more wearable than the last look I showed you. Um, I didn't use lashes and I didn't use a lot of liner. It's pretty easy to, pretty easy, quick look to throw on before you run out the door. I just wanted to show you that you don't have to have a dramatic look to use these shadows in this new in this new palette. If you uh, don't like this look, you better click away now. Keep watching and I'll show you how to do this quick and easy look to run errands. Keep watching and I'll show you how to do this quick and easy look. Let's do another look with the um, new Huda palette. I'm going to take these pins out of my hair so I don't look like a Yahoo. And I uh, already have my foundation on so I could save time. I'm going to the gym. I'm going to the gym again. So, I... Uh, thought I would just do a, a look that was that wouldn't look over the top for the gym. I'm not going to put lashes on today. Uh, I just cuz you don't have to wear lashes to wear this palette. All right. That was the Dolce & Gabbana Perfect Mono Eye Color in Nude. I'm going to take the Huda palette again, and I'm going to take the Desert Sand. The Desert Sand is really perfect to put a dusting across the whole lid so that your other shadows will blend nicely. It's almost like putting a, a, face, a face powder on, you know what I'm saying? It's a little bit beigey. It's peachy. It's like a peach face powder. All right. I had a question in the comments about how long the uh, shadows last on me. My shadows lasted. I went to uh, the gym yesterday after I did this look and I still was pretty when I got home and up the, it was still pretty until I took it off. I could, uh, I'll show you a look, I'll show you this sh look when I get home from the gym today and if I remember I'll show you right before I take off my makeup to go to bed. How about that? Okay, this is the Eden again. This one is also in the peach family, but it's a little brighter. This is the first one I put on. Now I'm going to put that one in the tree. Yesterday, I really liked the way the Celestial looked. So Celestial is this one. It's the first one on the second row under the, in the, in the um, palette, it looks like it's straight up gold. fight and he falls off. Cops ask me why I did a thing like that. I tell them why. For three hours, I tell them why. They don't believe me. I think I'm going to put a little bit of a base on. This is the uh, Kevin O'Quan 
sensual skin enhancer and it is a little sticky. tries to throw me off a train. We get into a fight and he falls off. Cops ask me why I did a thing like that. I tell him why. For three hours, I tell him why. They don't believe me. That's pretty. That's really a pretty brown. I bet that one's going to be a favorite. We're going to hear about that one a lot. Dude from the concentrate a lot of color on my lash line both on the top and the bottom Three hours, I tell them why. They don't believe. No, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it like it is. I'm gonna leave the. I'm gonna leave the lid part real bright. Okay, never and put it on the. I turn it upside down with the point down and flick up to do the front here. My eyebrows are just really far apart. I'm not real sure. I might have done that when I was in middle school, thinking that those straight up brows in the front were a mistake. You know? Not knowing that 
the brows in the front were supposed to stick up. All right, I'm going to take uh, Amber, it's next to the Eden. It's uh, basically orange. And then I'm going to take Angelic, which is the repeat from the other palette, from the original palette. Here's the amber that I just put on my brow bone. And I'm going to take Angelic and put that right under my brow. Now I'm going to curl my lashes. This is my, uh, I don't remember who these are by. These are just, these brow, uh, these are brow curlers. They look like eyelash curlers. No, they're eyelash curlers. Uh, Shiseido. Give them a little, give them a little curl. Here we go. I'll pull out my Fonsy Fonsy Christian Louboutin Mascara. I know. Fabulous. Fabulous mascara. Yeah, this is from Barbara. Oh, it was really a sweet gift. She wanted me to... <laughs> I guess she bought something she knew I wouldn't buy for myself, right? It's beautiful mascara, isn't it? And uh, I've had questions about how it lasts. Uh, I'll also, we'll also answer that question when I come home from the gym. On both the uh, Huda Desert Dusk and the Christian Louboutin Mascara. It's really black, isn't it? All right. It's going back in its little, it's a, a little coffin. Ta-ta. Ta-ta. Prelu. No, I don't know what a short for Christian Louboutin would be. Okay. Uh, I don't feel like I have enough color on the top lid, so I'm going to take Rockstar. It's by Urban Decay. And I'm going to do the tight line. It's burning. All right, I did the tight line. Oh, I don't know what I did, what I wiped in there, but I made my eyes water. All right, let's glue our eyebrows. I need some new eyebrow glue. I have some in my... 
Y'all take a chill pill. I'm going to go find my uh, ABH, Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, eyebrow glue. You're kidding. A little punk tries to throw me off a train. We get into a fight and he's Okay, walked. I forgot to cut the camera on when I came back. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow glue. It's in my kit. I find that uh, most of my brides do not want this. They feel like it's, I don't know, they probably feel like it's too unnatural. But you know how we are in the Brogan household. More is more. Natural is overrated. We like too much. Okay. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind and Brightener. I'm going to take a This is a Pixie Woo brush, Real Techniques. I have a review on the pure sponges. I got this really wet. Wet, 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 wet. You know how you keep massaging it until it gets all pumped up. Then you squeeze it out and you squeeze it in a towel. It's, it's still too hard. So there's my review on that. I don't, I don't think the pure makeup sponges are as nice as the Beauty Blender. The Beauty Blender is so soft. Mine is uh, constipated now. It's got, it won't repuff out. I guess I could, I could try again. I've had it for over, it's coming up on two years. <laughs> I think it's about time I switched out. What say you? Okay, there you go. Now I'm going to uh, set it with the La Mer. The La Mer powder, it just, it has little reflective doodahs in it. glitters. Uh, it's illuminating. There we go. So that's why I use it. I'm going to take this Smashbox powder. It's probably another foundation. Halo to go, it's medium, it's a little dark. Um, I'm going to try it for doing my perimeter. Warm up my perimeter with a powder that's too dark. Although this is my bronzing brush, so it probably has a little bronzer on it too. And run it across the bridge of my nose. Okay, that doesn't, that, I would say that didn't really do anything. How about y'all? But it will make my rest of my stuff that I put there, rest of the powder products I put there smooth better, right? Okay, I'm going to take, this is the NYX Pro Palette, and as you can see, this one's kind of pink. This one's kind of cool. That's the one I'm going to put in my perimeter. Um, everything seems to be going too orange on me now. It could be that I have purple hair. the darkest one in this palette and just put it in, in the way back like that. I'm going to take the darkest one 
and run it in my roots. So my part doesn't look too wide. It's just a fun, fun tip, right? Right. I thought it was fun. Okay. Let's find a blush. A new blush, one we haven't used in a while. Take a chill pill, I'll be right back. Um, I'm going to go with this one. This is by Bare Minerals. It's called The Faux Pas. I've checked on this recently. I think they still carry it. I'm going to add that. It looks like I'm embarrassed. I committed a faux pas. So ta-ta. Alright, I found the hula. I've had this for years. I evidently don't like it for it to last this long. I bet I've had it for I don't know. Three years at least. At least. Okay, let's do this. Okay, I'm gonna change highlights. We're gonna use Ofra, and the color is Rodeo Drive. Rodeo Drive. In my case, it would be Rodeo, right? I guess I'll use my blush brush. I'm just touching this blush, this uh, highlight. I'm not running my brush around in it. And then I'm going to take some. put it across my nose. I don't think I have enough stuff on my bottom lash line. So I'm going to take saffron. Saffron is the red. This uh, pencil brush is an M168 from... Oh, do y'all like my nails? I bought a new nail colors. Papilloma purple, something like that. Okay, saffron. Let me get a mirror so I can see where I'm putting it. Oh yeah. I know this turned into a gym appropriate look into a I like it. Alright. Let's put some Ofra on our Cuban's bow. Rodeo Drive. Put some between my eyes too. Okay. Lips. I don't think I have enough blush. We need more blush. There we go. Let's do lips. Uh, what color lips do we want? 
Well, first of all, they're dry. I'm going to take the clinician's com complex and puppy doo doo brown. Here we go. Now I'm going to go over here and So I saw a little French girl last night and uh, she was using Carnal by Essay Lauder. I tell them why. They don't believe me. I'm going to get some uh, more La Mer. And I'm going to perfect the skin around my mouth to make sure it looks real clean. There you go. There's another look using the the new desert Ho desert Huda. The desert the desert dusk look. It's pretty subtle. I think you should wear it anywhere. I'm gonna wear it. watching.